Hey YouTube, it's Faye, and for today's video, I'm gonna show you how to adjust the clutch pedal free play on my 1980 Volkswagen Rabbit. Tools that you will need to perform this job. A tape measure, a marker, a 14 and 17 millimeter wrench. This is video seven in my O2O transmission fun series, and I realized I never actually covered this. First of all, what actually is clutch pedal free play at all? Free play is the total measurable distance that the clutch pedal travels between the top of the pedal height and that moment when it actually begins to disengage the clutch mechanism or do any work. And there is actually a specification for that. And it's a huge problem, like if you have less than the specified free play, that basically creates a situation where the clutch is dragging all the time. That can cause premature wear, premature wear of the clutch, burning up of the clutch, and um, as you saw from the last six videos in this series, um, it's kind of a pain in the butt to replace this clutch, I mean, a little bit, so uh, you wanna do as much as you can to prevent that from happening again. And also, if you have excessive or too much clutch pedal free play, that can cause the clutch to not disengage fully, so it'll give you like this grinding when you're trying to shift gears, and that's obviously not good. That can cause premature wear to the transmission. So now that we know what it is and why it's important, let's actually go ahead and check it and see where we're at. So to start, we're gonna grab our measuring tape and we're gonna start by measuring pedal travel. So to measure pedal travel, I'm gonna take my tape measure and I'm gonna hook it to the top of the clutch pedal and then measure that distance to the steering wheel itself. So right there is where I'm taking my measurement from, right where that outer part of the steering wheel that little fat lip right there actually touches. So we're right at 24 inches. Now, even if you have an aftermarket steering wheel, it does not matter. It's not gonna be actually the measurement from the pedal itself to the steering wheel that we're worried about. We're just using this as an arbitrary measuring point to measure the total pedal travel. Then we're gonna depress the pedal all the way. And then I'm gonna take another measurement and we are at 29 inches, just at the very end of 29 inches. And that's right about what you want to see. You want it to be right around five inches. Actually, technically you want it a little less than. I've got some worn bushings going on. So you can see here, my initial measurement was 24. And then with my clutch pedal fully depressed, it was 29 inches. So obviously you just like taking the difference of the two and we've got five inches of pedal travel. And uh, mine is a little bit more than it should be. You want about 4.7 inches, but um, you know, it's, uh, she's a little old and I got some worn bushings in there. So, um, so yeah. 0.3 uh, inches more than it should be, and uh, I'm not super concerned. Now it is really important that you don't skip this step. If your clutch pedal travel is insufficient or it's excessive, now obviously mine's a little bit excessive, but not too much. It's like, you know, within the margin of error maybe, but if it is like extremely excessive or extremely insufficient, then you're not gonna be able to get a decent clutch pedal free play measurement. So make sure that you do that step first. I did remove my floor mats, however, I don't have any carpet in here at all. So just make sure that if you do have carpet, that it is close to the floor of the vehicle and that it is not interfering with your ability to push that pedal all the way in to get any of your measurements. Next, we're gonna be moving on to the actual measurement itself. You're gonna to wanna to go ahead and depress the clutch pedal a few times, just make sure that where it sits is actually at the top. Um, I think the service manual recommends depressing the clutch and releasing it fully five times. So, I don't know, I've done that, I guess. I don't know, one, two, <laughs> three, four, five. Okay, great. So we already have our clutch height measurement when it's all the way up. Now I'm gonna take that measurement again and just double check. Right again, I'm right at that 24 mark at the fattest part of my steering wheel. And now with my finger, cause I can really feel with my finger. So now when I press down on the pedal, oh my gosh, and I am absolutely perfect. So that's my range right there. All right. So for 1979 and later rabbits, the clutch pedal free play should be a little less than an inch, technically like 0.85 to 0.98 inches, I think. Um, earlier models, I can't quite remember, but I'll link that in the description below or I'll, I'll list that information um, as I find it. All right, so then you may be wondering, all right, what if my clutch pedal free play is out of adjustment bay? Like, what do I do? Uh, and in that case, you grab a 17 and a 14 millimeter wrench and, okay, so here, you can see our clutch cable. Oh, it's dirty. <laughs> car is dirty. Oh my God, there's cobwebs. <laughs> She's a work in progress. Okay, y'all. Um, so you can see the clutch cable going into the transmission. So with my 14 millimeter wrench, I'm going to hold this. Now this is not a nut that you turn. This is actually kind of fused to that cable right there. So this is just to hold it while I loosen the adjuster nut. The adjuster nut is a size 17. You can see it was not that tight. It does not have to be that tight. And once it's loose, then turning this counterclockwise, <laughs> Bring that down a little more just to show you dramatic effect. <laughs> and we can see how much more 
free play I have there. Do you see how excessive that is? That's way more than an inch right there. So then to reduce the amount of free play, we'll righty tidy it. Let's actually see if we can do a little too much here. And interesting, as I'm turning that, you can see how this lever is actually coming up. And if you've watched the rest of my videos, you'll understand why that is like that, because <laughs> the throw-out bearing is actually all the way on this side. All right, so now that we've turned that a lot, that's really tight. There's like, oh, there's no play there at all. Uh, actually, interesting, there's another tool that, um, uh, there's a Volkswagen special service tool that you can actually put in between the bottom of this washer and the flat plate here on some models and actually take a measurement right here under the hood. Um, but that tool is impossible to find. You could probably make one. But why make one when you can just use a regular tape measure? Ah, okay. Now you can see that that is not sufficient free play at all. So I've got to get back to homeostasis now. So you're going to tighten and loosen that until you achieve the proper clutch pedal free play. And then when you are satisfied, you're just going to go ahead and tighten that. Once again, holding my 14 millimeter right there, grabbing my 17 and tightening that. And you don't want to tighten it too tight because you're only tightening it against this plastic collar here. You don't want to cause damage to that. So that's just going to hold it into place and then we're done. Thank you so much for watching. I hope that you enjoyed this video. I hope that you found it helpful. And um, sorry about the darkness. I definitely started this video a lot earlier in the day, but um, since I've been gone for so long, this poor car was just sort of sitting out in the elements and actually became um, waterlogged and started growing mosquitoes and mold. <laughs> and actually like developed a whole bunch of rust. So as soon as I finish my super project, which I'm really excited to do, then um, this car is gonna become another major project. And uh, we're gonna start a whole nother series on this car, like literally starting from the ground up. This is the rare car that actually like, the engine is solid, the transmission is solid, and it starts up every time and it's all good. And this one is all like body and interior, which I freaking hate. So. <laughs> I'm going to be learning a lot of new skills with this car in the future, but um, yeah, so if you are a Mark 1 Volkswagen person, if you if you love my rabbit, thank you so much for sticking with me in this channel, and I will definitely be making more videos about this car in the future. So thanks so much for watching, thank you so much for subscribing, and I will see you in my next video next week. Bye!